Hey guys, in this tutorial I will show you how you can send WhatsApp messages in bulk directly from Excel using VBA. The solution is completely free and the messages will be sent from your own WhatsApp number. Without further ado, let us get started. To interact with the WhatsApp website, we will install the free Selenium library for VBA. Selenium will help us to create the bot in an easy way. The installation of Selenium is super easy and it takes only one minute. First, navigate to this website. I will also put the link in the description box down below. Go ahead and download Selenium Basic. Afterwards, open up the installer and keep the default settings. Just note the installation folder path as we will need it in a second. Once the installation is done, navigate to the Selenium folder. In this directory, we want to replace the Chrome Web Driver with the one which is matching to your Google Chrome version. To find out your Chrome version, navigate to Help and About Google Chrome. Copy your recent version and paste it into Google and search for Chrome Driver Download. You should find the following page. Once again, I will put the link in the description box down below. Choose the correct version of your Chrome Driver and download it. There is no Windows 64-bit version available, but do not worry, the 32-bit version works perfectly fine. Once downloaded, replace the Chrome driver in the Selenium directory with the one we just downloaded. And that's it, we are now ready to use Selenium in Excel. Before coding the script, I will shortly prepare the workbook. In column A, we are going to write the receiver number or the receiver name and next to it the text message we want to send. I will also shortly apply some styling to the current worksheet. Now we can switch gears and head over to the VBA editor. Click on the developer tab. If it's not visible for you, you can enable it under File, Options, Customize Ribbon and then tick the box for Developer. Open up the Visual Basic editor and insert a new module. A module is just a container which holds all our code. If you want, you can also name the module. As the first step, we will need to activate the Selenium type library we just have installed previously. Go to Tools, References, search for Selenium type library and tick the box and confirm your selection by clicking OK. First, we will declare some of the variables. Go ahead and type dim bot as new web driver and KS as keys. To initialize Chrome and to navigate to Web WhatsApp, we can type bot.start, then the name of the browser, so in our case Chrome, followed by the website web.whatsapp.com. To actually execute this, we also need to type bot.get and a forward slash. To check if this works, I will insert a stop command. After executing the script, you should see a new Chrome window popping up with the Web WhatsApp homepage. As the next step, we need to log in to Web WhatsApp by scanning the QR code. This cannot be done by the bot. However, we can ask the user to scan the code and once he or her is logged in, we will continue with our script. I will do this with a simple message box. To keep the code flexible, we will need to determine how many messages the user wants to send. We could do this by checking the last entry in column A. If we run this line, it will return 2. And if we add more phone numbers in our table and run the line again, we can see that it now returns 6. We need this information in our for loop. But before coding out the loop, let me shortly demonstrate manually what the bot should do. After logging in, we want to click in the search box. Here, the bot should type the number or the name of the contact and confirm the search by pressing enter. In the respective message window, the bot should then insert the text message from the worksheet and press enter again to send out the message. Once done, it should repeat those steps until there is no further input in our column A. To achieve this, I will use a for loop and we will start from row 2, as in row 1 we have our headers. The loop should run until our last row, which we have declared above. Inside the loop, first we are getting the search text, so the receiver number or the name and store it in a variable called search text. I will do the same for the text message, which we have in column B. 
As a next step, we need to click in the search box. And here comes the power of Selenium in place. With Selenium, we can interact with every element on a website, meaning we could click on buttons, extract text, or fill out entire web forms. All we need to do is to find out the location of the element on the website. In Chrome, we can use the inspect function to get this information. Go ahead and right click on the search box and click on inspect. A new window with the HTML source code will pop up. If you hover over the HTML code, you can see that it highlights the corresponding element on the website. In our case, we are only interested in the search box. Right click on the element, go to copy and select copy xpath. Back in the VBA editor, we will tell our bot to click on this element by using the find element by xpath method. In here, paste the xpath you just have copied. In the xpath, you want to make sure to replace the double quotes by single ones, otherwise VBA will throw an error. Last but not least, we need to determine the desired action with that element. So in our case, we want to click on this element. In general, for many automation projects, it's a good practice to insert some delays. Reason being is to give the command some time to breathe in between, especially when working with websites. In my case, I will go with half a second, so 500 milliseconds. However, if you are facing a slow internet connection, you might want to increase the delay time. As a next step, we can insert our search text by typing bot.sendkeys and our variable search text. Again, we will wait for half a second before we confirm the search by pressing enter. To press enter, we will make use of the keys we have declared on top of the script. As the cursor is now already in the message input field, we can just paste our text message in here. Once done, we will send the message by pressing enter. Last but not least, I will display a message box to notify the user once our bot is done and remove the stop command as we only needed it for testing purposes. Alright, and here's our final WhatsApp bot. After running the code, a new Chrome window appears with the WhatsApp starting page. The user now needs to scan the QR code to log in. Once logged in, we can confirm the message box by clicking OK. Our bot will now continue, search for the phone number or the person in the search box and send the particular message to the receiver. Once this is done, the window will close automatically and a notification in form of a message box will pop up. To execute the script easier, I will insert also a button and link it to our macro. When you are saving the file, make sure to save it with the XLSM extension, otherwise the macro will be gone the next time you open up the workbook. Ok guys, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. If you have any questions or you need further support, just let me know in the comment sections down below. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.